Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy holidays. This is day one of 12 days of EP. I could not do Vlogmas. There's no way that I could do Vlogmas. I'm a busy human being, especially with Goldilox, but I wanted to do something. And I asked my members, my channel members, should I do Vlogmas? Because I was torn, I really wanted to. They agreed that it's a lot of work, way too much work. So I decided to do 12 days of EP. So there will be 12 videos, one video per day posting from today. This is posting on the 14th, Monday the 14th, through the 25th, which happens to be Christmas day. Some days you might get more than one video because I also have partnerships or sponsorships or other things that are not at all holiday themed. So I might still have some days with two videos, but no matter what, you will get 12 days of EP, whether you like it or not. Day one, I'm gonna take you around, show you all my decor. I'm very proud of it. I did everything myself. I had to climb out of a window onto my little balcony because the balcony doesn't have a door to it. So I like climbed over my desk in the office onto this little ledge to do some of my Christmas lights. So I'm extremely proud of all the work that I did. Starting outside, my condo is the last unit in my little complex. So I get this really cool overhang that goes above the little grassy area. I covered those with lights. I also had these really pretty garlands and the garlands are hanging with the lights wrapped around them. I found this cute sign at Joann's. One side has Merry Christmas, the other side has a little winter greeting. So as soon as Christmas is over, I could switch it over to the winter side and I can still use it for the rest of winter. So I really loved that. I went and got this on Black Friday. I think it was like 60% off. Honestly, I don't remember, but it was a really good deal and I can use it past the holidays because it's also just plain winter themed as well when I turn it around. Everything else in the front, I already had, so all the lights I already had, the garlands I had from several years ago. So it's like this little penguin is decorating his own Christmas tree. He's kind of covered in lights, like he's having some issues and I just thought that was super cute. Then on my balcony, I have these green lights across and I jumped through my window over my desk using my desk to hop over and I stapled all these lights across with a staple gun. You guys don't even trust me with scissors, so I don't know who let me have a staple gun, but I did not injure myself. It was not easy actually. There were some points where I was trying to staple from the outside and like holding the gun. Also, I should say that I'm really bad at using a staple gun as well because I was using the wrong side for a while and not understanding why the staples weren't coming out, but they were coming out. They were just coming out on the other side. But we got that figured out real quick and I think it looks beautiful. I also have like a little fake tree that I made out of lights up on the corner of that balcony as well. It's a little hard to see because the lights across the actual front cover it up a little bit, but it took me so much time to do it that I was not willing to undo it and move it up two feet just so that it would really be visible from the street. You can still see it, but there is of course that front part covering about half of the tree. The downstairs quarter bath or half bath, I don't know what this is called, just like the little bathroom that is just a sink and a toilet. This one just has a cute little Christmas tree, a nice snowman, it's got snowman towels in it. And I made sure the Christmas tree matched the hand soap, which I love. And then above the toilet, I just have another snowman and poinsettia. The kitchen is really simple as well. I just have a few signs. I have this sign, which is absolutely my favorite sign of all because sparkle and glitter, you know, this is just so my style. Then I have this little tiny Noel basket right here. And then I have this sign over in this corner. It lights up, but it doesn't always light up. So I think it just like goes on and off based on like a timer. And I don't really know what the timer is. So I just let it do its thing. Have this cute little branch right there. And that's all that I really have in here. And then I have penguin holiday kitchen towels. I love penguins and you're gonna see that in just a second when we go to another part of the house. Above the refrigerator, I have just like a cute present and pine cone up there. There's a lot of pine cones around as well. The next section is my wine and beverage little area. It just has this cute little gnome Santa Claus that my friend got me. You might've seen it in one of my mega hauls. And then I did end up putting these roses here and I still recommend these roses. 
But now I would like to say, for the record, I do not recommend gold or silver because those are painted on and they don't actually use the same process of coloring like they do the more natural colors. I had a subscriber get the gold. She hated them. They gave her great customer service. They resent her the red ones and she said she loves those. I have red and I have white and you'll see the white also in this video. And I completely recommend the red and the white. I don't know if my code still works, but I'll put it down below if it does. The next area is the pet area. All of this is all my dog's stuff. They have a lot of stuff, but I decided to put the Christmas tree in this corner because their little area has like obviously some place where I could easily put a tiny Christmas tree. I don't actually get a Christmas tree yet. One, I'm allergic to Christmas trees. And then two, I it's a lot of work to put one up and especially like I don't have a huge family or anything. I did put a few little presents under here, but those are all gonna get shipped out to my family. I wanna mention these cute ornaments. I unboxed a beauty sponge from, I think it was Fashion Stud The Box from this company. And then I went and I bought more off of their website. And then I got an email that they had little ornaments with little snowmen that are also basically beauty sponges, like makeup sponges. So I thought I was gonna have them on my tree and then when I take down the tree, I can use them as makeup sponges. But how cute are these little snowmen? On my dining room table, I do have a small tabletop nativity scene. This is the meaning of Christmas, the true meaning of Christmas to me. I am a Christian, so this is very important to me. So I decided to put it in the center of my tabletop. And then four of the chairs have red plaid bows on them, each of the corners basically, or anti-corners, I don't know what you would call them, the like center seat for each side has a red plaid bow tied across it. In the little coffee area, I have just this like tiny penguin that has his legs over. I actually keep this all year, whether it's Christmas or not. And then I have this branch, it's just a wintry pretty branch and a pine cone. There's pine cones everywhere. Next, we go to the entertainment center. Each section of the entertainment center has a different look and feel to it. I have my little snow cage and snow bird. There's also pine cones in like almost every square. There's red glitter pine cones. They're just regular pine cones. I have penguins here or there. I have my larger forever rose that's white over in this corner. I have these beautiful candles that I just, I use every year. They're just like beautiful winter candles. In the top squares, I just have a few little presents over there. There's nothing in them. They're just present boxes. My staircase always has lights. They're not always on, but I always have these. I never take them down. I've had them up, I think for like three years now. I'm pretty sure I probably put them up during Christmas at one point, but then I liked them so much that I just left them on. For the end tables on my couch, both have poinsettias on them, also pine cones, of course. Then my couch pillows are again, the black and red plaid, and then big red pillows on each. The center pillow is kind of a green color right now, but that pillow is always that green color because when it's not the holidays, my side pillows are green and brown. Last but not least is my mantle. So I do, because I don't have a Christmas tree or I don't really normally have a Christmas tree, I like to hang my ornaments on the mantle instead of hanging stockings. I've done it pretty much every year that I can remember. And I collect, obviously I collect penguin ornaments. So there's a ton of penguin ornaments. Then above that, I have this really cute tree that I got this year. It has like the burlap and also again, the red and black plaid. Then on the other side, everything, all the decorating is based on this one reindeer because I'm obsessed with him. He is also the red and black plaid. So that's why you see that everywhere else. And he has black glitter antlers. Usually I do try to change my theme up, but I bought him last year and every item that I got this year was to match it. This sleigh and reindeer, I actually did that with my Cricut and then I ironed it on. It's not the best job, but I just really wanted something that was simple. Upstairs, I don't really have too much decor. There's like a little area right in the hallway. It also has a reindeer that everything was based off last year because I did white and gold. So he is white and gold and silver and gorgeous. And then in this bathroom up here, I don't really have much either. Just three little cute snowmen right here. And then I have, of course, like the towels are updated, but that's pretty much it. For the office and bedroom upstairs, I didn't really decorate. I didn't really feel like I had to. Nobody ever goes in those rooms. And the office has completely been taken over by Goldie Box supplies. So there's not really room for me to put any decor there. I'm satisfied with the amount of decor I have downstairs. So I don't really have to go and like decorate the entire upstairs as well. 
I hope it was fun to tour my decor. I always like to see how other people decorate. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for the second day of EP. Bye.